Hey guys, this is Acedia coming to you live all the way from Times Square and with me I have... Uh, my name is Anthony, nice to meet you. And Anthony, what is something that you're passionate about? Uh, one of the things I'm passionate about is health and yeah. wellness. Um, you know, uh, if you want to be on this rock a long time, you got to take care of the body first and you know, treat the mind right. Uh, so just making sure I'm keeping myself, you know, good. Um, one of the things that I'm passionate about, at least. So what kind of diet do you follow? Keto? Um, I'm not big on like the placement of names, but I just try to keep it like with organic stuff. Uh, yeah, fruits, yeah, vegetables. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do eat certain meats, but I try to limit it. Uh, definitely heavy on the fish. I like salmon, uh, tilapia, whitening fish is one of my favorites. Um, but I definitely try to stay, definitely no pork. Don't mess with that pork. Yeah. Terrible for you. Um, but you know I mean, I just try to mix it up while keeping it healthy at the same time. And why is it important to you, health and fitness? Why is it a priority? Because um, honestly, from my own personal experience, going from like eating bad food to eating good foods, like you literally feel the difference in your body. Like you don't feel sluggish. You're, like it, like a lot of people say it, but like literally your mind state is like completely different from making those conscious decisions to eat terrible things for your body or good things for your body. And, and, and it's been effective for me. So. Um, trial and error is like one of the ways that I like to figure shit out. So if it worked, then it must be doing something right. So how did your mindset change when you started eating more healthy? Um, experience and meeting new people, um, honestly. Um, uh, and then working out, um, being in the gym, meeting people at the gym. Um, and just getting, you know, information from them, talking to them. Um, taking a lot of stuff away from them. Uh, just, I guess, experience in life. Uh, Got me to where that point is now, really. And outside of health and fitness, what are you really excited about in your life right now? Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah. That's kind of like what I'm really, uh, I'm really big on tech too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like technology. Uh, the future really is something I'm passionate about. Um, where we're going to be at in the future. Like things that I think about on a daily basis. So yeah. um, that's another thing that I kind of try to like. Uh, daily, uh, day to day, keep myself knowledgeable on, you know, um, looking up on like how society might be in the future. A lot of people don't really think about how that might be, but those are like really important things that we need to be focused on as humans. Because, you know, I mean, yes, tomorrow is another day, but you ultimately want to be here for the next 10, maybe 20 years. So you got to consciously think about those things when you're planning your life. So uh, what are three ways that society is changing in the future? Um, science is definitely going to be uh, one of the biggest ways. Um, finance is going to be one of the major ways. And related right back to health and services, um, definitely yeah. going to be one of the major things that change up in the next five to ten years. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how technologies and stuff like that change up society, how things they discover. Um, and also, I, I left this one out, but actually discovering history is one of the things that I like as well. Kind of have to throw it in there because as we go to the future, we also learn more things about the past, yeah. which helps us, you know, navigate through the future. So it all ties in together. Um, so just to throw that in there too. But but yeah, um, those are all the things that I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I hope it just everybody. Uh, hopefully this gets to everybody. Can make some people aware, you know, but future is definitely going to be interesting. I'm, I'm ready to see what it's looking what's looking like. So I know that you're saying that you really like history, you also like the future, but what do you feel about the present? The present? Yeah. The present is really amazing, man. Um, and the, you got to just, the present, you can't judge too much. You just got to embrace it graciously because, you know what I mean, just being here alive, talking to you, uh, seeing people, it's just all going on. So it's, you just got to enjoy it and enjoy every moment you got here on this rock because some people die, some people live long. It's just, it's never guaranteed, so you just gotta enjoy it. That's how I say it, just enjoy the, the moment you win and the experience you win and live it to the fullest. Don't hold nothing back, because you're gonna regret it if you don't. Well, All right, this is Cedia signing off, GLE TV. Thank you so much, oh my God.